So, Aid, we're having a cosy weekend. We are, yes. What would be your ideal weekend? Let's have the oven, and that's another 15 minute dinner. And I put them in kiddie cupcake cases. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. This is going to be a cosy vlog today. It's a Saturday. We're having a slower pace day after I've had a very busy work week. Worked really long hours so we're going to take it a bit easier. Um, Ada just made us coffee. I think we're going to watch a little bit of YouTube. Um, I'd like to get some baking done today. We're going to be making a really, really quick, easy pasta dish. We might actually have it like as a late lunch kind of thing. Um, is we're gonna make fajita pasta really really quick and easy um, and my god nice walk as well so that's what we're doing today hope you guys are doing well let us know how you're doing leave a comment below and tell us how your week has been what have you been up to I'm just gonna cut these stickers for the kit got my sister's dog staying at the moment as well and we actually I won't show that we're just about to watch a trailer for the new purge series just going on a little walk with the dogs We've got Poppy, where's Molly? Good. And got my sister's dog, Molly. So, oh, Aid, yeah. we're having a cosy weekend. We are, yes. What would be your ideal weekend? Um, oh, my ideal weekend. Um, I think starting the day with a coffee. We did that. We did that already, didn't we? <laughs> I loved. I love going for our walks on a Saturday. I miss the long walks we used to do. I'd love to do that, for example, getting up, having no time constraints, maybe go and grab something to eat or drink, mm. um, whether it be just like a cafe or the services. <laughs> and then a movie. Um, and then like a movie in the afternoon. That feeling that you've walked about 10 miles mm. and then you feel in the afternoon of just being cosy. Yeah. And then maybe something nice to eat in the evening. Not necessarily takeout, but just something really... Cheese dip really cosy whether Red. it be oh, I don't know actually this feels quite rich at the moment that sounds quite nice yeah I like the jalapeno cheese dip that you get from Morrison's in the little ceramic pot that you put in the oven I think time in actually enjoy your downtime mm. I think because quite often what happens is we actually do things oh Poppy's having a poo oh, you don't need to <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> she needed to go. Oh, that's your job. I'll take the dogs. Are you ca are you holding on to them? Well, no. I was going to make sure. I've got both dogs now. <laughs> well done, Poppy. Um, I think my ideal cosy weekend would be. I haven't finished yet. What? Having a poo? No. My. Weekend. Oh yeah, but you take too long to answer. Well, Mine would be walk. Can I just say something? What? You were talk you asked me on weekend and you started yeah, talking about it. Yeah, but it. you've you'd finished. Well, I just thought that I hadn't. I'm talking now. My I'm ideal finished. weekend. Are you taking both dogs now? Yeah, well. Would be a nice walk, coffee, movie. Just being on our own, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go for Starbucks. Not having anyone else around. Doing a little bit of craft. Do you know another thing is actually journaling. Ho holiday planning. Yeah, sometimes um, that stresses me as well, no, no, though. No, I don't no. always find it relaxing. What I mean by is the fact that, do you remember we used to go pre-lockdown, mm. we used to go to Starbucks for an hour yeah. or so and just do our uh, holiday planning. We yeah. used to love that, wasn't it? Get the And I think that really helped because it was away from home as well, wasn't it? So yeah. we did actually do it. So what would your ideal cosy weekend be? What would you like to do? We've got a BA flight going overhead. We're on the Heathrow flight path. It's quite nice we get to see the planes. Um, we've got all these little like flower meadows, meadows that the council have been doing around by us. So where there's lots of like almost wasteland, they've um, we've got quite a few of them in our little village, and they just sprinkle loads and loads of wild flower seeds. This one's one of the newer ones, and then they grow up and they don't get touched or anything. It's just really nice for the wildlife and for the bees and that, which is quite nice. There's a virgin one just gone past. Aid's just having a look on the app to see if it can see where it's going to. We just had a look and it was the Heathrow to LA flight. It's a virgin one, yeah. Such a lovely day today. It's about seven degrees, but it's really sunny. We're gonna go and meet our daughter Holly and have a little walk.
was so nice. Um, it was so slippery along the canal. We had a really, really nice time. We wandered in along the canal into Guildford and then had a coffee by the castle, just sat outside and then walked a different way back. It made a really nice change, didn't it? Yeah, it was nice actually, yeah. Yeah. And we were just sort of chatting, sort of like, I keep wanting to cross my legs, but I've got all mud on my shoes, um, about taking a slower pace that's sort of trying to take time out over the weekend or when you have time off. It doesn't have to be slowing down, meaning sitting on the couch and doing nothing. It could be taking time out just to do different things that you wouldn't usually do during your normal work week. So we wouldn't usually go over to Holly's and walk along the canal into Guildford or stop by the castle and sit on a bench with a coffee a and nice. chat with some guy and stroke his dog. <laughs> it's the softest dog I've ever stroked. Um, yeah, it just felt really nice. It did feel so relaxing. I think it? sometimes you can just always feel there's something to be done mm. and it's like we've been to Guildford before and we have just like wandered a little bit but generally we've been there we're, we're, we're there for a purpose we're there for a purpose mm. and it's the case right we need to get done what we need to get done mm. is and I feel just doing something like that we've never just gone into town just for a coffee have we no it did no, feel really nice lovely. actually a really slow pace but um yeah tell us how you guys like to slow down what's your way of doing things so i've got a really busy head i find it really really hard to switch That's off an understatement i know it drives me mad laying in bed i've just my mind's just active all the time and i did actually find that really relaxing i did find that i did sort of Perhaps switch off a little to do bit that, don't we, every now and again. Do you know that that is true when i think back to like lockdown when we used to go out on our really long walks yep I always feel like I've escaped everything and maybe that is my way to slow down is to get out and walk. Yeah, get, yeah maybe that is my way. Maybe go somewhere for coffee. Yeah, we're going to see friends tonight as well and I cannot wait. We That's love them. Thing as well, I know. We, we but there's different well. people though. I think different people you can relax with. Our friends that we're seeing tonight, I always can switch off and I feel so relaxed. Don't worry about what I say. Whereas I think different friends and family members as well you get a different feeling with. Some people you're sort of a bit more on guard with or you don't sort of let yourself sort of... Be you yourself. Know. Yeah, yeah. So I think it depends on the friends who you're with as to how relaxed you feel. And what sense of humour they've got. It is in our but case. But it's the same as yours. Yeah. <laughs> it's a speciality sense of humour. I think, I think the key thing is as well is not to beat yourself up with things. Mm. Um, it's We've all got things we need to do. We've all got something that could go on a to-do list, and for us, our to-do list would be a mile long, it's wouldn't massive, it? Massive, yeah. But then you've also got to take stock of things, and and also sort of re, not say rewind. What's the word I'm thinking? Recharge. Yeah, recharge. Mm. Actually, feel like doing things that are still maybe of, that you need to do. Yeah. But pick the things that you know you can actually do. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna stop this because my arm is really aching. Gosh, that's got so cold all of a sudden. I think because it was sunny when we walked in Guildford, it felt really nice. Come home, walk the dogs, and I feel absolutely frozen. It's 20 past three. We're gonna have a really early dinner today. Um, we're going out to friends about seven, so we thought we'd have tea now. And I've been really fancying a cozy pasta dish. Um, I just fancy something with a little bit of spice, something really tasty and cheese. I always fancy cheese. So I'm going to make um, a super fast fajita pasta. Um, I'm doing ours without chicken, but you can add chicken or whatever you want to it. It's one of those, again, with most of my meals that you just add from the fridge what you want to use up. And it's super, super cheap as well and takes about 15 minutes. So I bought this big bag of pasta, penne pasta from Lidl. I think it's 30 something P. Tin tomatoes from Morrison's, 45 P. I'm using up peppers and an onion. And I've got some fajita seasoning. This I buy this great big one from Costco and I think it's three pounds something. It's not very expensive and it's massive. And we've got some cheese to top and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. But add chicken if you want to, add mushrooms, any veg, anything that you've got that needs using up, pop it in. Um, I've just um, started off the onions, peppers and garlic with a bit of oil and I'm just adding some fajita mix, a bit of a sprinkle. I've added the chopped tomatoes, that's my pasta sauce now. Um, I usually add a bit of a squirt of ketchup actually just to sweeten it, but give it a taste test. If you need any more fajita seasoning, if you need any salt or pepper, 
or any ketchup. Aid wants to add some sun-dried tomatoes. Do you want to add some? Yeah, be quite nice. I've chopped up some of the um, sun-dried tomatoes that Aid wanted and I've popped in some jalapenos as well to give it a little bit of an extra kick. I think this is going to be really nice. And then you just add your cooked pasta, mix it all in and I've got the grill going really nice and hot. The good thing about using a skillet pan like this, you can go from oven to, um, or you can go from top to oven or top to grill. I've added grated cheese on top and then I'm moving the pan straight to the grill. A question that's been spoken about in our family this week, do you clear up whilst you're cooking or do you leave everything everywhere and deal with it afterwards? I always have the sink filled with warm soapy water whilst I'm cooking so that I can clear up as I go along. Then after dinner, we just need to put the plates in the dishwasher or just wash them up. It's so much easier and you don't end up with a really, really messy kitchen. So whilst that was under the grill, I finished off the washing up and I've got a clean, tidy kitchen. What do you do? Do it as you go along or leave it till the last minute. And that's out the oven and that's another 15 minute dinner. Ooh. That looks nice, doesn't it? It smells it's really, really yummy perfect kind of a cozy dinner one that comes together really quickly and doesn't cost much my favorite kind and by the way if you love the look of my skillet pan i use it several times a week i will leave a link below i bought it from amazon it comes in different colors and it wasn't expensive and i use it loads and i think whilst having our cozy dinner we're gonna binge watch or start binge watching the last series of you I've been really fancying um, cornflake cakes, chocolate cornflake cakes lately. So I am just mixing up some chocolate. I've got here um, margarine, golden syrup, cocoa powder, melting that down. And then in a bambari, bambari, I've also got 100 grams of dark chocolate. I've added in the melted chocolate and now some icing sugar. And this has made the really loveliest thick chocolatey syrup. And then just fold in the cornflakes. You don't want to go too hard, you don't want to crush them all. You could obviously use Rice Krispie cakes. Let me know if you used to make these as a kid as well. There's just something so cozy and comforting about cornflake cakes or chocolate rice crispy cakes and this way is so much nicer than just melting chocolate it's a proper thick syrupy chocolate it's so good and i put them in kiddie cupcake cases to cool and set before we go getting ready to go out i've got the crispy the cornflake crispy cakes ready i've got a little bag of bath and body works to give to my friend and I'm just clearing out my handbag. Well, I've got, it's a bag I bought from Epcot um, when it was the 35th. And it's, it's one of those really nice over the shoulder bags, loads of space. But I've gone to get it out and it's absolutely full of rubbish. So I haven't done a what's in my bag for goodness knows years, absolutely years. So I figured let's do a what's in Lisa's crappy old bag. So we have got very old antibacterial wipes. Are they even wet anymore? I don't know. We've got hand warmers. We have got, oh, what's that? Castle Crew. Oh, this was when I went to Swindon and I made a note of some different places that we wanted to go to. That was last summer. We have got some sorcerer cards. Remember these? Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom. Gosh, that's old. Um, some things just live in certain bags. They live in my bag. Aids Rennies. More Sorcerer's Cards. More Rennies. A couple of pens. And a tea bag for good luck. We've got Paracetamol. Hand warmers. Put the receipt on the rubbish pile. A crappy old mask that can go in the bin. That's the end of a toothpaste. I don't know why that's in there. Cereal bar. You know I always have cereal bars. Emergency bars for good luck. Um, 
hand sanitizer, which I have attached to my bag anyway. Um, hairband, hairbands are always handy. Paracetamol, let's put tablets all in one pile. More hairbands. What's that from? That looks like a lid off something, but I have no idea what. Ah, that's from my Body Shop hand cream. That can go in the bin. Rubbish. Another, oh, a bit of a pen. That can go in the bin. Um, rubbish. Shopping list, rubbish. Hairband. More hairband. Another receipt. Another sorcerer's card. And another pen. And that is it. An empty bag. Check there's nothing in the pocket. No, I'm going to take that outside and give that a good shake. So that's what's in Lisa's handbag. So I challenge you to go and have a look in your handbag and see if you've got anything crazy in there that doesn't belong. Like the Sorcerers of Magic Kingdom card. It's half past 11. We are a little bit in sweat. We just walked back chest, from our it? friends and then we've come home and walked the dogs. Yeah. So a little bit wind sweat. I've got Poppy staring at me. Um, we just had a really nice evening. Yeah. Our friends are going to Disney World in June. They haven't been since 2011. So it was so nice chatting to them. We watched vlogs together, explaining things. It was really, really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice actually. It just mm. makes you think about things as well. Um, especially people who haven't been, who've been but mm. haven't been for a while. Such long makes time. Makes you realise how things have maybe changed and things mm. you kind of understand and take for granted so yeah makes us think when people look at even going for the first time how kind of daunting it must be yeah so much information yeah exactly it's really information overload really so nice time. but yeah i think um, best thing a bit of advice we gave them wasn't it was just enjoy it take what's, it in their stride what's been your my hair's got really knotted i've got things what caught doing? i don't know what has been your favorite thing about our cozy day today uh, What's been your favourite thing today? I love the fajita pasta. Just nothing about food. Oh, the fajita pasta was lovely. Oh, we had the um, chocolate cornflake cakes at our friends. They were nice. They were, they were really so gooey, nice. weren't they? <laughs> they were. I think because if it's melted chocolate, it just dries hard. Whereas when you add the marge and you add the syrup, it's gooey. It doesn't dry solid. I do like them when they're solid as well. Do you? I like them both. Oh, I like the gooey. The gooey, you have to keep them in the wrapper to eat them because mm, they just like go everywhere. Way. So, but no, it's like, I've got some more. Also, just there, the whole actually. the whole day really. It's just been it's nice been really actually. Nice We've day. not really looked at a screen, have we? Um, you've more or less not say had a day off. I think I basically did some sticker stuff this morning. I think trying to do a bit of a reset. I mean, mm. we can have a day tomorrow. You're going to do a bit of work tomorrow, but we're still going to have a bit of a reset, bit of downtime. I didn't realize. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow we want to work on some schedules. So um, I'm really good in my meal planning, but maybe work more on meal um, cleaning and chores and things. And I think that might be next week's video. And, and I think also we spoke about this before, didn't we? Is the fact of if we can get the routine. Well, mm. you had a routine, didn't you? When the kids were at school, yeah. you had a routine cleaning, things like that. And since they've not really, they've been out of, should mm. we say, school, we've not kept to that. Yeah. So I wonder if we just need, and it's not com big complex things, it's just keeping on top of things. So we're going to do that tomorrow, I think, and that will be a video for next week. Yeah, and then maybe with that slot into place, it might then give us more time for other things. Mm, that's true. Do you know basically. what I mean? Because if we know that, yep, that's done, it's sort of... Yeah, maybe, but now what's see. been your favourite thing to do? I did love the walk in Guildford as well. That the walk was, was so nice. nice. The coffee was nice. The cafe Nero that we had was lovely. Yeah. Um, it was nice going over there. I think sometimes change of scenery. You don't sometimes need long. I mean, we could literally park two hours at Holly's, um, where we were parking on the street. So we were on a time, but it didn't feel we had a time pressure. If that makes sense. Mm. Um, but it was nice. You don't have to do things for a whole day. And I think that's the other thing is maybe grabbing things yeah. and doing things that are just... You say that because you think actually yesterday afternoon I was feeling so tired with work. I had so much I still needed to do. I had a headache coming on. I wasn't feeling great. Is that a dog? What's she doing? Is that a dog? Morning. What's she got? Down. Morning. Ritz biscuits. Oh Molly. She doesn't open them but she's trying to. I will give you one of those but you don't help yourself. You don't give them now. Little monkey. This 
is the cheekiest monkey dog, aren't you? You're just always scrounging. Um, but Aid made me take some time out yesterday yep. afternoon. I put a hottie, a microwave hottie on the back of my neck to help my headache. And I just took some time out on the sofa. It's I only think about 20 minutes. We'd watched an episode. We've been watching The End of the Effing World yep. on Netflix. And we are so into it. They're about 20 minute episodes. We've almost finished it. And I took time out yesterday, watched an episode on the sofa. And I completely recharged myself. I just felt like that tiny little bit of like cozy downtime. And then I carried on working for about three or four hours afterwards, didn't I? I but it really did me the world of good. The biggest thing you do or don't do is you don't actually take a break. I guess because I don't take a lunch break. You don't, yeah. it's not, not, even a, not even a lunch break. You don't even take 10 minutes mm. just to have a change of scenery. Yeah, I guess I so. I think even if you were to come into the lounge and sit down for 10 minutes. Away from my desk. Away from your desk and then go back. Mm. Because you do constantly all the way through. I know me with work, it's a little bit different. Mm. But if I'm sat at my desk the whole time, I find I start to struggle, whereas I need to almost like get away have from that. Have a change that. of scenery. I think you need to do that because mm. otherwise you can't just keep going. What's on the radiator? Oh, it's clean washing. <laughs> um, the other thing we've been doing different this week as well, we've been actually finishing work and going to bed really early. We've been going to bed, what, eight, nine o'clock with a cup of tea and watching Netflix. And it's been so nice just being away from the night. I think because I associate downstairs, downstairs with work, Going upstairs, sort of locking my studio away, tidying up downstairs. Being cosy. Yeah, going to bed feeling cosy with a cup of tea and watching Netflix for a couple of hours has been really nice. We've it been, has been nice. I think we've done that every night this week. It has it's been. It's the latest night so I think what time was all it's half 11, 11 now. It's really late for, uh, for us at the moment. So that was normal time for us before Used we went to, be, to Florida. Yeah. Um, we also wanted to say thank you so much for all the support we've had on our Disney channel. Yeah, Aidan needs to do Disney. Our channel has just gone really, really well this last few days or since we've been in Florida. We hit 1,000 subscribers, didn't we? A couple of days ago, yeah. Yeah, we, it was so exciting. I know that probably doesn't sound like a big deal to most of you, but for anyone on YouTube would totally get it. It's a huge milestone. Mm. And we're just so grateful for everyone's support. The channel's just been growing. The video, our travel vlog, has had such an amazing response. We posted today, as in the day before this goes up, our review video of the trip, and that's going well. And we're just so, so grateful. It means so much to have your support. So we yeah, just definitely. want to say a massive, massive thank you. And we will get around to answering yeah there's been so many comments so thank you so much for that so there's been comments and i think the as well the more response the more comments the more positivity it makes you more excited for your channel yeah. and like we've just been walking the dogs and we're talking about other videos we want to do it just gives you the excitement whereas i think when it's flat your channel doesn't grow you don't really get many comments you just think why am i doing but, this but it's also getting the comments it's 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 that sense of even if we've helped one one I say helped if there's something that's helped one person or one person's enjoyed it that's mm. really really key and seeing some of the the comments come back and some of the things we i think have taken for granted i think i saw one about the packing mm. and it was the th oh thanks for that tip but it's also it helps us sometimes as well because we don't know everything no and so other people say things and then you look them up and it helps us learn as and well. And that's how we want to share that as well. So I think yeah, it's just all sort of passing joining information together. on. So yeah. no, thank you yes, so much. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, but yeah. Um, let us know how you do your cosy time, whether it be baths or what do you do? Let us know. Also interested to know as well, obviously we both work from home. I know because of COVID a lot of people, people are working at now. home. Yeah. We've done it a long time before. But people who have, I don't want to say a normal job, but say a nine to five job or something like that. Do you find that when you get away from work, like say you finish at five, Hello. that that's your time you do switch off? I think that's the biggest thing for you. There's always something yeah, to do. Yeah, I don't switch off. Definitely, oh, even work-wise. Yeah. Oh, I've got a little puppy. But thank you for watching today. Yeah. We hope you've enjoyed our video. I hope you've enjoyed our cozy day. The fajita pas pasta was amazing. And so were the little chocolate crispy cakes. They were lovely. Right, I'm gonna give these doggies some fuss 
and we're going to go to bed. Do you want to watch another episode before we get yes, to sleep? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And thank you for some recommendations last week as well when we asked for some Netflix recommendations. Yeah. We've also good. found a couple other things we might like to watch as well. Mm. We're really looking for something we can really get into that's got loads we of We started series. watching you the last yes. season. We meant to do it when it first came out. We never got around to There's it. There's another season coming. Yeah. I think. Moles, you're clinging on to me. Right, this doggies need some fast, so we are going to finish this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Good night. And let us know how you do your cosy days. Bye. Bye.